Hello friends, welcome back to QGIS Basics. In this video, we will learn how to create view shared and how to find the best view coverage from a ridge line. So, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel QGIS Future of GIS and subscribe the playlist learn QGIS basics if you have any question please comment on in video I'll try to solve that so let's get started first we have to add a demo of that area I have demo of this area which falls from 76 longitude to 77 degree longitude so this dam is in geographic projection you can see that right click on layer layer properties and in, in information tab you will check CRS is EPSG 4326 so we have to convert in a projected projection that is in meter so how to do that raster converts uh, we have to go projection raster projection and warp the dialog box will appear warp in parameter select the input layer dem layer existing dem layer so CRS optional and I want this in target CRS I want any UTM and this dem is fall in 43 UTM zone 43 and this is my and no data value set to zero otherwise otherwise you will get a black outside portion here save it a temporary file and click on run as I click run now my dem comes here I turn off the my original dem and will see this properties now here it is in EPSG 32463 that is UTM 43 and now our dam is in projected projection so we will see the highest point from here just suppose I will zoom here and go to properties symbology and minimum maximum values I will see in updated canvas apply okay and you will see this portion this ridge line is the highest point visible on canvas so what I have to do now now I'll change this color so I'll select single band pseudo color this color is linear and I'll classify this is okay invert no no I want the, this I want the sequence highest point is red and lowest uh, I want highest point to be red so I have to invert no no it's okay can classify okay now you will see this is the highest point these are the highest points in dark red color now try to make a duplicate copy of this just right click and click on duplicate layer this is our duplicate layer and now I am changing this to hill shed so go to properties and change it to hill shed apply ok now I'll see this is the hill shed and where is our is our is in this one this one is our is you'll see now I'm trying to just make it more visible just set transparency to 80 percent okay now you will see this is our res line so what how to find the weaving area from this point I have first I will draw a line 
ridge line to this and then we will find the weaving area so I'll try to digitize a line over this just layer create new shape file I'll just put it in my data folder and name it ridge ridge line save and geometry type line and projection is my 43n okay I just turn on toggle editing and start digitizing this line I am just starting it from here I just start from here I'm just trying to digitize it exactly over the ridge line No, 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 no. I just press back space. This is our ridge line. Okay, I left this line till here, but I want to extend it more. So just have a vertex tool and start extending it. actually this this is our race main race is this and this one is another race so we will find the best view from here only so this is our ridge line just save it now we will change it to points so I am just first of all we have to find the length how much length of this ridge line is you can get it from here also uh, it's uh, 18 kilometer or you can check randomly from here also it's select it and just type just this dice now I will convert this ridge line to the showing random point exactly it is 18 kilometer how to do that go to vector research tool random points on lines my input layer is my ridge line a number of points for each, each feature I want 100 points on ridge line and at a distance of 100 meter from each other and just click run so I'll get these points these are my random points at a distance of 100 meter and I'll check the numbering how much of these right click and select show feature count these are the 96 points so we have our dem our random points for weaving area for calculating weaving area jo just go to visibility analysis if you don't have visibility analysis plugin then you have to go to manage and install plugin will get you have to write visibility and as you write visibility it will show you a visibility analysis plugin this is the visibility analysis plugin you can install it from by clicking install I had already installed that's why it's not showing and to access the visibility analysis click on I'll just close this processing toolbox and you will see the visibility analysis here so first I have to create these points as a creating wave points 
just select create viewpoint create viewpoint here observation location random points digital elevation model reprojected model observer id random point id and this is the radius of analysis i want to analyze around 10 kilometers so 10000 meter and observe at 1.6 and target height is 0 because i want to see the ground and click run close now you will have these out these output layers as a viewpoint now click on analysis view shed analysis type binary view shed i will try to <coughs> make binary view shed observational observer location is output layer elevation model is reprojected and rest is default and click run now it will create a view shed for us of 10 kilometer area now you will see this is the area which is covering around 10 kilometers it will cover from here also but we don't have any elevation model here so this is our output of 10 kilometer view shed just change it to properties and change its opacity okay now you will see this is the 10 kilometer area from this ridge line now we have to find the best weaving point so how to get this is just a tricky one you have to find one trick just go to view panel and there is log message in view shed info tab you will get a comma separated values here these are the delimited text just copy these copy and paste it in notepad I'll just paste here and control it and save it as my weaving points so I am just saving this in my view shed data this is and it's my view points dot csv I'll save this as csv and save I'm just changing these are the these are the call first row and these are the columns I'll just open this in Excel file click on save and close this and just try to open this in here it's my uh, these are the viewpoints just open this this is in Excel here it is our first row and these are the columns I'm just renaming it because it may cause problem due to the spaces so I'll just rename this visible this is total and save it close it now I'm just going to add this in QGIS these are the my waypoints I'm just double click, double click on it and it's come here just open the attribute table you will see these are the point ID this is the visible pixels per meter these are the one pixel per meters number of pixels and this is the total potential visible area so now next step is to go to output layer right click on properties join add I'm just going to join this viewpoints join fill point ID and target fill ID and ok ok now we have this this is our these are the my viewpoints visible and these are the totals so we have to work with these point this vis viewpoint visible area so just 
this is a temporary file just I am to save this export share feature as just visible area points and click OK let's turn off this I'm just turning off this area now we have this visible area points layer I'm just checking it properties and just checking the field my viewpoints I have to work with this viewpoint so this is a string so first we have to change this to integer so how to do that New visible area visible underscore a and I'll select the field value viewpoint and ok click on save turn off toggle editing now we'll see this is our visible area and it is in integer just check once again check it visible area now this is an integer so now we have our points in integer value so how to check the maximum area let's go to symbology click on graduate select the value field is visible area and click on classify so this is from minimum to maximum area I'm just changing this symbology of maximum visible area points click ok and click ok now you will see these are the points which having maximum visible area I'm just putting this over so these are the points which are having maximum visible area from this ridge line in at end we have only this one and it has the visible area only of this much this is this is the maximum visible area and these points have the maximum visible area from here you as you can see here so this is how you can get the maximum view shed area maximum view shed from where you can view the area and in the same video you have learned how to create view shed that's all for this please if you have any question write in comment box and subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel and uh, that's all this video thank you for watching